Okay, Kate. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm here with the Nissan Leaf uh, Zero Emission Tour. Okay, and this is uh, the first time it's being shown in Portland? Yeah, yep. And you were introduced out in, in L.A.? Yes, we started off in L.A. and we've been um, San Diego, San Francisco, Seattle, Vancouver. So you're finally getting around to us? But yes, we are. And so it's going to be uh, Portland, Salem, Corvallis, Eugene? Correct. For the infrastructure rollout? Yes. Okay, and you want to give us a, a little tour of this? Yeah, sure, absolutely, no problem. So, um, have you seen the trunk yet? Because this no. is the best part. So this is your your hatch space. Uh -huh. We don't have an exact measure out on that yet, but it's, you can see it's really big. I mean, yep. it's, it measures, I think it's about 18 inches in, um, in depth. It goes back about 31 inches. The seat folds down, the rear seat. you got a 60-40 split there. Both, both sides go down? Yep. Okay, good. Both sides go down. You and why, why do you say the, the trunk is the best part? Well, because most EVs don't have a trunk. Most EVs in the past have stocked up the back with batteries. So in this car, that's one major selling point, that it gets a 100-mile range, and you can also actually use it as a day-to-day -day car, put your groceries in it. Um, it also seats five, which you can see. I'll bring you around the side here. You can see the back seat is really roomy. Um, seats three across the back, completely comfortably. The battery pack is actually stored under the center of the vehicle between the front and rear axles. So it's actually, if you're in the back seat, your feet would be resting on it. If you're in the front seat, you'd be basically sitting on it. There's one battery pack? One battery pack. It's uh, 48 modules. Each module has four cells. Okay. And the body, is it all uh, composite? Is it it's aluminum? It's standard steel. Standard it's all steel. Or all steel. Yep. And they haven't released the exact weight yet, but uh -huh. um, roughly between 32 and 3,300 pounds. And the plan is to keep it steel? Yep. Um, so you can see the interior here. The interior of this car is actually all 100% recycled plastic. The cloth feels like microfiber. It's amazing what they can do with recycled plastic at this point. In this car is 99% recyclable, uh -huh. but it's also awesome that the cloth is already 100% recycled material. It's actually recycled plastic bottles. Okay, and this one, does you have the solar panel on the back on this one? We have a small solar panel on the rear spoiler that's um, basically powering a backup 12 volt lead acid battery that works uh, your accessories, your lights, your power locks and windows, your radio. And okay. And that can be set with the iPhone or with a computer remotely to maintain the temperature while I'm gone? Uh, you can use your phone. So what the car has is an embedded cellular technology. That cellular technology is used for two things. One are your data downloads for your navigation system. It'll actually update your nav wirelessly. The second thing is, yeah, your phone. If you have a smartphone, a Blackberry, an iPhone, um, you can actually preheat your car, pre-air condition, you can check your state of charge. Also, your car will call you up if you forget to plug in when you tell it to, so. It tells you if you're trying to back out with it plugged in? Yes. Is there a warning? Yeah. Okay, and then it's, it's 110, 220, and 440. Correct. Right. Uh, it rains sometimes in Oregon. Where, where are you based out of? Uh, I live in Southern California. Okay. Nissan is based out of Tennessee. The factories in Tennessee. Where, where's Nissan in LA? In LA? Yeah. There's actually no longer a Nissan office in LA. There is. There's Toyota. And it, is there a design studio in LA? In San Diego. In San Diego. Yep. The Nissan. All right. Yep. Right, um, and the car will be once you reach uh, quantities built in uh, Tennessee. A good part of it. Uh, the first year they'll be manufactured in Japan. After that, they'll be made in Smyrna, Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. So the question is, I'm parking. It's rainy out. Yeah. I'm outside. I, I go to one of these outdoor stations. What's the risk? There's no risk. Uh, there's never. You're never in contact with any metal. Um, You'll see when you see the J1772, the standardized plug, that actually it, it looks like a plastic sort of nozzle. So all you're touching is plastic. The actual um, induction occurs inside of the car when you plug it in. So you're never you're never going to be electrocuted. So this is fully operable and rechargeable in the rain. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And then there's also some you're you're distributing the the uh, chargers. 
to various places and the car will monitor where the chargers are in your range and distance Correct. to reach those chargers yep. and give it on the readout. Yeah, oh yeah, it tells you exactly how many miles you have available currently. It also gives you a, a driving range on the map. You can see a circle around your car. Within that range, it shows you all your charging stations. If you zoom in on a charging station, it actually will tell you how many uh, level three and level two charging stations are at that location. So you can see exactly if you're gonna get a quick charge or a 220 volt charge. And 440 takes how long to charge? That's 26 minutes. That gets you up to 80%. Uh-huh. So that's pretty fast. So that's preferable. So yeah. most of the outdoor ones that will be at, at uh, stores and companies and things, will they try to be 440? No, actually, the the majority will be 220. 220. There will be the, the DC chargers, the quick chargers around, but not as many because obviously they are more taxing on the grid, so we have to be strategic about where they're placed. The gear shifters, eh? It's a trackball. It's a trackball. Put it in drive and reverse. It's essentially like pushing a button because there's no transmission, so there's no shifting of gears. But it feels like moving a mouse. They actually designed it to be kind of like a computer mouse. Okay, and, and there's one main motor and then you distribute the energy to the rear wheels? It's front wheel drive. Front wheel. So one motor, a single front motor, and then just a standard transaxle to the tires. Okay. Some of the cars are putting the motors in the wheels. Right. Not this one. Okay, and but you have regenerative braking on this? Yep. Two levels of regeneration. One is on coasting and one is on braking. Okay. All right, I want to get a look at the plug-in. Yeah, go for it. Hi there. Still on him? I got his head all the It's funny because a lot of times people ask about you know, the cargo space, the roominess of it. One of our product specialists is not here, he's 6'4". You know, I know you're a great talent. So the seats right now, they're, they're 